Hi folks, I'm Susan Dillman Stills with Mount Comfort RV and I'm standing here in our show booth at the Indy RV Expo. That's a mouthful. Well, I've got a mouthful to say about this little uh, Thor Rise, and it is little. This is going to be so nimble for you. It's about 18 feet long. So if you want to put this in a smaller parking space, this is the one. Of course, we've got some great show pricing here, and some of that's going to go away after the show. So if you're thinking about B-Van, let's talk. Well, there are a lot of things that are common to be to B vans. First of all, there's a lot of, of engineering and a lot of creativity required to take all of the elements in a big class A motorhome and stick them in a van. And they've done this. First of all, we've got seats that will swivel. So that driver's seat will actually swivel around and sit on the other side of the two passenger seats in the back. By the way, shoulder harnesses for two people in that back seat or shoulder harnesses for both people in the cab portion. No carpet, no carpet, just great linoleum. And we have mats up here, sort of a marine grade mat with an easy clean floor up in the cabinet. This is gonna be on the Ram ProMaster chassis. So we're looking at about 280 horsepower and about 260 foot pounds of torque. So it'll go, it'll, she'll, get, she'll step up. I mean, she's, she's a fun drive. We do have an awning here. You can see the lights are on, but we don't have the awning deployed. And the interesting thing about that awning is it is right next door to the pop-up compartment on this unit. So there's actually a roof spot that we can pop that up. I apologize, I'm too short to do that right now. We're at the show, so I think we've got some wires we're concerned about. But this is a skylight that's actually gonna be in the skyloft portion. There is a ladder that will go up, and then your sleeping is actually on top of this roof. By the way, this is a padded vinyl ceiling. It just looks nice longer. Um, we've got a two burner cooktop. This is pretty traditional. We see this in some class C's. You're gonna have a microwave right back here. Your refrigerator, I love this placement. It's right here outside where you can access this from the outside. So there's no need to actually step up in the coach every time you want to refresh your drink. Back here, we have a little bathroom. This is called a wet bath. You do have an opportunity to do a shower here. You just take this off the hook, do what we need to do and stick it right back up there. When you're in transit, this is where your, where your uh, ladder can store. And of course, you can use this as additional storage as you're going down the road. Just want to make sure that things don't rattle too much. You've got a sliding um, shower door. Okay. Uh, get that back in there. Alrighty. And that, right now, I'm standing over the portion that will actually become a bed. So this will actually extend. There's a... Um, an opportunity for, no, not this side, excuse me, that there's an opportunity for this to slide out. And then what we do is we fill in the cushions and then we have just a little bit wider, I think, or just about the size of your average twin bed. So one, maybe two if you're, if you're really sweet on each other and definitely two up above. I love these sort of Euro style uh, rounded cabinets that that shiny material or excuse me the shiny finish is easy to clean and the other thing that I like about it is with it being shiny it just makes it seem a little larger in here so all of these are going to pop up on hidden hinges that will hold it like a little gas strut so it's not going to be flopping down on you when you're trying to load out your van to go somewhere and again, it's just, I love the flexibility of this. If you're going down the road and you're just using this as a hotel hopper, it's just one way to kind of get from space to space, but you hit the town where you were supposed to have reservations and somehow they don't have a hotel room. Now you've got a place to sleep that is your own. You're on your own sheets and eating food off your own plates. Well, folks, this is just a very quick look at Thor's Rise 18A. This is a 2023. I have a number of Class B vans that you can take a look at and test drive on our lot just east of Indianapolis on I-70. My name is Susan Dillman Stills. Would love it if you liked me on uh, the YouTube videos. I'd love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna have a lot more uh, information on up and coming products in the RV industry, or you can just give me a call. 